And news coming in right now of Lalu Yadav meeting with Sonia Gandhi at her residence. Nitish Kumar as well as Lalu are currently meeting with Sonia Gandhi. Clearly an attempt here to form a pre-poll alliance for 2024. Uh, the RJD has been making it very, very clear that they want a pre-poll alliance or for mega opposition uh, unity, a show of unity before in fact uh, the elections are announced. They're saying ahead of 2024, let's stitch up an alliance. To talk about that, Lalu and Nitish are currently at Sonia Gandhi's residence meeting with her. Remember that we've already seen this mega show of strength at Fatehabad in Haryana where several opposition leaders, all of Modi's challengers came together on one stage. There too the RJD made it very very clear that they believe a pre-poll alliance is very much needed to take on the BJP, to take on the NDA. So after that show of strength, Lalu and Nitish right now are meeting with Sonia Gandhi. Shreya Chatterjee is joining us live from Delhi with more details on this. Whatever is, in fact, the takeaway from that meeting will be very, very crucial, Shreya, because uh, the Mahagat Bandhan in Bihar essentially is of the opinion that there needs to be a pre-poll alliance. Well, absolutely so, Akshita. You know, clearly what we see right now happening in the national capital is uh, the attempts to actually stitch together uh, an opposition unity ahead of the 2024 elections. That's the reason we see both Lalu Prasad Yadav and Nitish Kumar meet Sonia Gandhi at her residence. This obviously after uh, that Fatehabad uh, show of strength, as you were rightly pointing it out. Also important to mention that in the last uh, uh, Delhi tour, Nitish had already met Rahul Gandhi. So this meeting becomes extremely crucial because after a long gap, we also see Lalu Prasad Yadav coming and meeting Sonia Gandhi. So what exactly transpires will be crucial because uh, we've seen earlier that when similar attempts have been made, nothing has really fructified when it comes to the matter coming on table. Whether this would be different is something we'll have to wait and watch out for. But right now as we speak, both Lalu Prasad Yadav and Nitish Kumar are there inside meeting uh, Sonia Gandhi uh, at a crucial juncture where uh, probably everyone is looking forward that whether the opposition unity will uh, fructify this time. Okay, so those are the images also that we're putting out from just a couple of moments ago when you had Nitish Kumar making his way inside. Lalu Yadav were also a part of that particular meeting. And as Shreya also pointed out, uh, this is happening hours after that show of strength by the opposition in Haryana's Fatehabad. It was an ILD rally in which all of these leaders had gathered in one stage. We'll see whether the Congress is also for a pre-poll alliance. There will, of course, be a lot of issues a lot of conditions also that will have to be ironed out, Shreya. The biggest question, of course, that everyone will be asking is whether there can be a consensus on who will lead this kind of an alliance. The JDU, the RJD, while they're pushing for a pre-poll alliance, are they okay with Congress leading, Shreya? Because there's been a lot of talk about Nitish projecting himself as a PMP. Well, that's probably the entire problem that we see when we talk about the opposition unity. We have um, the leaders who are somewhere down the line larger than life figures in their local play. Uh, but when it comes to probably stitching it together and unifying as a one projected leader, that's something that till now we haven't really seen um, the opposition coming together unanimously. We'd earlier seen there was an attempt made by uh, all the political parties where Mamta Banerjee had called that meeting in the Constitution Club in Delhi where they tried and uh, discussed with whether uh, there could be one face forward when the opposition is concerned, Sharad Pawar has very categorically denied. However, there's a there's a request time and again for him to guide the way forward. But as of now, when we speak, there's no one person who's probably that face uh, which can be leading the opposition that has unanimously be agreed. Whether it's Nitish individually, Vamsa individually, uh, we're seeing them all as individual leaders when it comes to their local play arena. But when it comes to the national figure, yeah. the opposition is yet to settle down when it comes to that one person who probably will lead the opposition together. All right, and we'll track very, very closely the inside track of what we really pick up uh, on that meeting. Thanks for the moment, Shreya, for joining us.